Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Wake Up Wednesday! I have to do that every single time. Yes, we are back with another Wake Up Wednesday and as you can tell, I'm back in my beautiful yellow chair. Well, it's not actually mine, it belongs to Hannah. But in the beautiful yellow chair um yes hannah's back now she was away for a couple of days she went over to france for a wedding so i wasn't able to film um the wake up wednesday last week hence why i was in like a vlog style but now i'm comfy i hope that you are too and um yeah there's no time to waste no dilly dallying we've got to get straight into it okay for another wake up wednesday just in case this is the first ever time you've watched a wake up wednesday essentially all wake up wednesdays are are my way of triggering you of sparking something in you of stirring the pot even where you don't want me to stir it but in order for you to live at a level of excellence that you deserve to live at okay to really push you into a place of excellence of power of authority of leadership and of confidence that's exactly what wake up wednesdays are for so let's get straight into it so today's wake up wednesday short sweet and simple guys i'm, I'm even uncrossing my legs because i can't bother to sit with my legs crossed because i'm wearing a belt and it's suffocating me right now but today's wake up wednesday guys you need to stop running very very simple very very easy to understand there are so many of us and i'm going to say us because this was also me where you know that there is something that you've been called to do where you know that there is a purpose that you've been given where you know that you've been uniquely designed for a specific thing okay it might be something that you believe that god has put on your heart that he's laid on your mind that he's laid in your spirit something that you know you're supposed to do some business that you're supposed to start some um, organization that you're supposed to start um some conference that you're supposed to deliver something that you know that you've been called to do but for whatever reason you keep on running well i'm here today to tell you you need to stop running time is up you are done you need to stop it okay when children see something that they don't like they don't want they don't want to eat they don't want to listen to they don't want to whatever their first natural instinct is to run but that is what a child does and you as an adult that is sitting up or maybe as a young adult or someone that's growing into their adult you know nurse or whatever you that has their own capacity their own brain that has their own mind has their own independent way of thinking you that's watching this right here right now are no longer a child so you no longer have the excuse of saying oh i'm too scared of doing something oh no i can't do it because i don't have this oh no i can't do it because no more excuses we're done. We need to take those excuses and throw them out of the window. Stop running. You need to man up. You need to woman up. You need to face the things that you know that you've been called to do. And you need to start getting things done. Okay? I get it. Sometimes things can be really scary. You genuinely do not know how you're going to get to the next step or the step after that. You're really contemplating, but I know I'm supposed to do this, but how? How is it going to happen? How is it logically going to work? I have children, or I have bills to pay, or I have debt, or I have whatever it is. I have responsibilities. How on earth will I get there? Your concern is not to worry about how you're going to get there. Your concern is to get up and to start walking everything else will fall into line when you start walking the more that you try to run away the more you are delaying the work that god has put in your life or that god has called you to do stop delaying stop running stop being like noah noah was called to do a job and what did he go and do he went and he ran in the other direction and what happened to him he got swallowed by a giant fish swallowed by a giant fish and got spat up and then finally after being swallowed by a giant fish and being spat back onto land realize that actually i can't run away from this this is what god has called me to do this is my purpose this is what i was designed uniquely and intricately designed to do on this planet so i cannot keep on running away from it there are certain things that god is telling you to step into but you are too scared to step into it stop letting fear you know stop you from reaching those certain goals we spoke about that last week i said about you know i spoke about it's time to have an abortion some of you guys said oh um you know allow it with the with the clickbait titles Yes, I put it there. It was clickbait, but guess what? You still clicked on it and guess what? You still bloody watched it, okay? But no, it's time to have an abortion. Abort that fear out of your life. You need to exit out and you need to command it and you need to say to yourself, I will no longer have fear over the things.
things that have been holding me back. I will no longer be scared to step in faith. I will no longer be scared to step into the things that I know I've been called to do. I will no longer be scared to step into my destiny. I will no longer be scared to step into the things that I know I was put on this planet to do. We need to step up and we need to step out in faith, in belief, in hope, knowing that whatever you are going to do, whatever has been designed for your unique life will come together for your good. Let me just tell you right now, guys, fear is one of those things, okay? Fear is one of those things that actually is there to protect us, yes. It is there to protect us to a degree. We know not to necessarily go and play with fire because there's an element of fear there that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get burnt. We know not to go, you know, too close to maybe a train track because we know, oh, if I stand too close, you know, I might fall in. Fear is there to, to a degree to protect us as human beings. But when you let fear start overtaking your destiny, your power, who you are, your identity, when you let fear get in front of you like that, that's when it becomes destructive and detrimental for and detrimental for you. It is time to stop running. What are you running away from? Who are you running away from? The only thing that you are running away from is from yourself. You've been running for years and years and years saying, why is nothing changing? Why aren't things working out? Why are things not coming together? Because you've been running. Instead of you to take some time to really say, do you know what? I'm going to strategize. I'm going to work out what I need to do here. I'm going to work out what my purpose is here. I'm going to work out what my why is. I'm going to work out how I'm going to attack this industry. How I'm going to put my foot into this industry and take over this land, take over this nation. I'm going to figure out where I fit into this place. You have been running for so many years and you're blaming other people. You're blaming your mum for the fact that you haven't been able to achieve what you wanted to achieve. Or you're blaming your brothers over there because they, they, they put you down. You're blaming other people for things that you keep running from. Stop making excuses. We don't have time for that anymore. Gone are the days, I'm so sorry, but I've said it so many times. Gone are the days where we can sit in our rooms and we cry and we talk about, oh, this is what happened to me and this is bad and that's bad. Yes, we'll understand that sometimes bad things happen. It's a part of life. It's a part of the process. This is not me trying to undermine the things that you have gone through. I've been through things, but you have maybe gone through even worse things. I get it. I sympathize. I empathize. I understand that sometimes it breaks you sometimes you're crushed sometimes your spirit is destroyed sometimes you're so hurt you don't know how you're gonna get back up but don't let that don't let that pain and that hurt stop you from dusting yourself off and getting back up again don't let that pain stop you from progressing don't let that pain tell you or lie to you saying that this is the only thing that you will be and this is where you will stay it's a lie you might be here today, but I'm telling you right now, if you get back up and you stay determined and you stay focused and you push yourself and you push and you push and you push, you will get to the place that you want to get to. But you have to make that decision within yourself. There is nobody else that can come and do that for you. People can come to you and say, please get back up. Please, you can do it. Come on, believe in yourself. Even me, you watching this right here, right now. I can tell you for as much, for as long as possible, I can sit with you for a year telling you every single day that you are amazing. You are great. You are destined for greatness. You are the head and not the tail. You are more than a conqueror. I can sit there for an entire year telling you day by day by day the same thing. But if you don't believe it, nothing will change. Nothing will happen. Stop running away from the greatness that you were called to be. Stop running away from the level of excellence that you deserve to be in. Stop running away from all the incredible and amazing things that God has promised you. Stop running away from it. You're crying and you're saying Satan is the one that's doing this. The devil is doing this. People have cursed you. This is that. This is that. Nah. It's you. You've been running away for so long and trying to mask it as blaming other people. Stop doing that. Why are you running away? Is it because it's going to hurt? Are you scared that it's going to hurt? It's going to crush you? It's going to take dedication? It's going to take consistency? It's going to take persistence? It's going to take you having that motivation, that discipline, even when you feel down? Is that what you're afraid of? Well, guess what, my friend? Sometimes it does hurt. Don't let anyone tell you that it doesn't hurt. Don't let anyone tell you that it's going to be easy. Don't let anyone tell you that there won't be bumps in the road. Don't let anyone tell you that it's a simple walk in the park because it's not. It's not. But guess what? If you really want to get there, if you really want more for yourself, if you really know that you deserve more, 
you will make it happen. Even through the fire, even through the pain, even through the anxiety, even through the depression, even through the upset, even through the anger, even through the abuse, you will get back up and you will make it happen. And I believe, I believe in you. If there's been nobody on this planet that has told you that they believe in you, that they have faith in you, that you can do it, well, I'm telling you right here, right now. I believe in you. I believe that you can do it. I believe that even though you've been hurt and you've been knocked down many, many, many times, you can get back up and you can keep fighting. But you need to stop running. It's time to stop running. It's time to man up. It's time to woman up. It's time to make things happen. It's time for you to look at your future and say, I'm about to go for what I know I deserve. I'm going to go for it. And there is nothing and nobody that's going to stop me. Nothing. That's my mantra every single day. The only person that can stop me is me. That's the only person. There's nobody on this planet that can ever make me feel small. There's nobody on this planet that can ever make me feel inadequate. There's nobody on this planet that can ever tell me that I cannot do something. It's only when I internalise those things that it becomes true. It's only when I start to believe it that it becomes true. I don't care what anyone around me has ever said to me. I don't care what anyone on the other side of the screen that watches me thinks about me. As long as I think positive things about myself, I can do it and I will do it. And that's exactly where you need to be at. It starts from here. Learn to take control of this and everything else will come through. Whoo, guys, when I say to you, listen, ah. Uh, Listen, just please, I really do hope, this is how you know, that's when you know the Holy Spirit is inside of you because I've already forgotten half of what I just said, but ultimately I know that the whole point of what I was, you know, meant to talk to you guys about today was to stop running, stop running, it's time to stop that, you're not a baby anymore, you're not a toddler anymore, grow up, man up, woman up, and that's actually um, something I heard, I have to give credit where credit is due, I heard um, Eric Thomas, and you guys know I talk about Eric Thomas all the time, because he's like, just one of my biggest inspirations, and he's basically my mentor, without even him knowing that he's my mentor, but he mentors me through the screen, but he's, he, I remember, I think it was him that said it one time, he was like, man up, woman up, there's no more time for excuses anymore, guys, there's no more time for it, it's gonna be painful, it is going to hurt, but it's not going to kill you, as long as you don't let it kill you, you need to say, do you know what? This thing that I went through, I know it was meant to happen to me. I know it was my story. I know it was meant to happen to me so that I can write that book, so that I can start that business, so that I can help other people, so that I can encourage other people, so that I could draw other people from the pits of that darkness that I used to be in. I went through that so that I could draw people out of it. I remember going through times where I was so insecure. I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought I was just fat and ugly and disgusting. I went through that. I went through times where I thought to myself, do you know what? I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. I went through that. But I've come out the other side and I'm still fighting. Things are not perfect, no. But I'm still swinging and I'm still fighting. I'm going to continue fighting to the day I die. Literally. No, but listen, you don't understand, guys. The fire that's inside of me, the fire that's inside of me, and I really do hope that that same fire will go inside of you. The fire that's inside of me, it will not die until the day I die. I want to leave this planet empty. I want to leave this planet knowing that I literally gave my everything, every single day of my life. That's how I want to live. And I would never be able to achieve that if I kept running away from the issues, I kept running away from the problems, or I kept running away from the things that I know that I have in the inside of me. If I kept running away from it, I wouldn't be able to do this. If I kept running away from the things that God implanted on my heart and in my mind, I would never be able to sit before you guys and speak to you guys the way that I do. If I kept running from the business ideas, the, um, the, 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 the classes, the this, the that, whatever. If I kept running away from it, guys, I would not be able to do what I do. So please, stop running. Anyway, I'm going to go. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going round and round in the same circles. You guys know that I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. Please do not forget to, you know, click that thumbs up button. I just need to know that you guys are supporting me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, guys, you need to subscribe right here, right now. There is something about to happen. There's a shift that's about to come. Like, guys, I can feel it. I can feel it. There's something that's coming, something big. So... Just be a part of this journey, be a part of this family. Also, just to let you know as well, in case you don't know, um, I'm also doing power classes, not master classes, but power classes, because I believe that each and every one of us has power within, inside of us, but sometimes it just needs to be drawn out. And I'm running power classes, intimate power classes with only 15 people, 
15 people that's it tickets are already going which i'm really really excited about but you know claim your space now i'll leave all the information and the link to where you can get your ticket in the description box below power classes are essentially where we'll be able to sit down and have intimate sessions where we can strategize where we can work with you and also after that as well you'll be put um, in a group in a group chat where you will have you know support not just for now but for you know for the next three months you will have support from myself and other people in my network to help you to reach your goals to hit some of the targets that you have to make sure that you have that support because one thing that I realized was that going to events are great you go to the events you get the momentum you get the passion but then what happens after oftentimes you always hear like people I get messages from people who are like oh you know I came to the event and it was great but I lost that momentum I lost that fire you know so I decided that you know what if you sign up to a power class which is like a master class is going to be the first one is on confidence and it's with myself 15 people only is going to be intimate. We're going to share stories, share experiences, share our knowledge. I'm going to be giving you practical advice and tips through a presentation to kind of explain to you, you know, the ways in which I've been able to build my confidence, how we can work through confidence and um, working with you on task right there and then. And then you'll also be part of an actual group where we'll stay in contact, where we'll be um, helping each other, motivating each other, encouraging each other. I'll be putting job opportunities in there. I'll be putting up opportunities because there's always people sending me opportunities and things whatever is essentially just going to create a network the power class network so that you can have people that you can lean on and that you can be accountable to as well because sometimes that's all you need someone to just be accountable to so um yeah if you want to sign up for a, a power class please do check in the description box below all the information is there sign up and i cannot wait to see you so that we can actually work you know really really work to make sure that you are doing exactly what you've been called to do i love and appreciate you guys so much I'm going to run now because I've actually got somewhere else that I need to go. And thank you so much for all your support on the vlogmas so far. Guys, it's amazing. In fact, I feel like I should like... Yes, I'm really doing that right now, beautiful people. So I'm in the middle of filming the Wake Up Wednesday. My hair's kind of like dropping. So sad because these curls were cute. But um, yeah, I'm literally just wrapping... Oh no, I hope that hair wasn't standing up. I'm literally just wrapping up about to go i filmed the wake up wednesday it's time to run i've got a meeting in city hall with the deputy mayor and i'm already running late because they shifted the time and i didn't realize so yeah i need to go but yeah anyway from me over here vlogmas everything i'm gonna see you guys very very soon i love and appreciate you guys have an amazing week remember you are amazing be educated be bold stay beautiful